Minion in. So, I got up this morning, I thought to myself, I've been a little complainy lately. Not without reason, but still. I thought, let's have something good to say today. And then I read the patch notes. Come for the game, stay for the commentary. I'm barely out of bed and it's already been an emotional roller coaster. Patch notes for changes on April 1st are up, so let's have a quick look at those. When the patch notes were first posted, it included the point adjusted the drop rate of the red energy fragment from the superior gathering reward chest. This led us to believe that devs had heard our feedback and made it slightly less impossible to get the red energy fragment by fishing. It didn't take long for them to change that note. It was removed, and at the bottom of the patch notes, now there is an update stating that that point was incorrect, and that the red energy fragment can only be obtained by turning in a corrupted node. So my raising a hand in praise quickly turned into a facepalm. They didn't make the ancient weapons process better, they made it worse. On the bright side, I don't have to do any more fishing. On the downside, ancient weapons are now even more throttled and gated than ever. They've essentially become a PvP exclusive item. And that only if you're in a major guild. And if you're not on a Series X, seriously, don't bother. The frame drops are so ridiculous, you won't even be able to see what's going on. There's just way too much happening. Some systems can only handle so many blizzards going off at the same time before the whole thing craps out. But there is good news. Remember those artisans that don't exist? Well, apparently, now they do, and you get them from the fishing pool decoration on your estate. It said they increased drop rate. And that's the fancy way of saying they were broken before and now they're not. Presumably. So if you're still after ancient weapons, that's how you get those. In my last video, I speculated whether the fuck-up was on design, coding, or executive level. At least now, we can rule out coding. The fuck-up is 100% intentional. So here's my take, you guys. I haven't even started my Ancient Weapon quest yet. I haven't even been running Abyssals to try to start it. The whole process is so broken and elitist that I don't see the point. Why put myself through all that? I play Bless Unleashed to have fun. I already have chores in real life. Why would I want them in-game? And I want to remind you guys, Ancient Weapons aren't that great. There was a lot of hype and promise, but I am 100% convinced they are nothing that special. And most definitely not good enough to be worth traversing a punishing and broken quest system. And I believe this because no one that I know of that got to test actual working ancient weapons is bothering with this quest right now. They got to try them, and the response is a resounding, meh. And if you've been playing this game long enough, then you know by now, that if Ancient Weapons are introduced and they are absolutely OP, then they will be nerfed back down to something normal within a month or so. Do yourselves a favor. Forget Ancient Weapons. In a few months, when the process has become more humane, and those few people who got them early are losing their shit because they had to work super hard on something that the game is suddenly practically giving away, you'll be glad you spent those months having fun and playing with your friends. Video games are meant to be enjoyed. So do the stuff you enjoy. If that's long, mindless repetition, more power to you. For the rest of us, see you in regionals. Either way, go be freaking heroes. Minion out.